Hello, everyone. We're back again, Deb and Marlene, <laughs> or Mum, as we call her <laughs> around here. And we're talking once again about the Master System base and one of the accessories that we can put on top of it. So if we, as we've said before, this is really cool because a simple little flick here, and this is on your counter forever or until you release it, which is really nice when you need two hands to do other things. So we're going to release it. We're going to take <clears throat> this little magical hopper, slide it on, and then we lock this into place again. So what's cool is the base is locked onto the counter and this is locked onto the base. Now, this accessory comes with um, a shredder attachment, which is what we're going to show today. And it's got two shredder blades, one larger and one smaller. We're going to do the larger one because we're going to do some cheese. It's as easy as putting that in and you just screw the handle onto the back of that. <clears throat> the nice thing about the shredder, any of these cones, inside they are not sharp. Outside they are sharp. So when you're holding it in here to screw the handle on, you are not going to hurt yourself. The other set that you can get for this, now I apologize, I'm doing a demo, but I had to give one of my cones away to somebody for warranty, and I'm just waiting for the replacement. So <clears throat> normally this is a set of three, this is a grater. We do hard things on here. You can do even coffee beans mm -hmm. we've done. You also Why do we do coffee beans? <laughs> <laughs> because we want to cook, make cold brewed coffee Absolutely. in our amazing craft. There's also a slicer on here. I do slicing vegetables, pepperoni for pizzas, things like that. Um, you can also grate crackers and chocolate and things. The one that I'm missing is the one that does ice so that you can make all sorts of cool snow cones and things. Um, so I apologize for that. But today we're going to show you how slick this thing is. We buy cheese where it's least expensive at the box stores. So we buy a big old block of cheese for way less than you would pay for that package of pre-shredded stuff. And here's something I bet you don't know. That shredded stuff, <clears throat> pardon me, has fillers in it. They have um, things to dry the cheese out, anti-humectants I think they are, um, so that the cheese doesn't glomp together, because you know that happens when you shred it, right? Cheese is pretty wet. So they put these in. Now one of the things that they use to do that is actually cellulose, which is actually wood fiber. So it's not actually a nutritious filler for a person. Plus, if people have gluten problems, they can have problems with some of these pre-shredded cheeses. Um, they also put in some chemicals that also dry it out a little bit. Now, one of the other problems with drying it out is when you go to melt it into something, it melts totally differently than if you just had cheese. Um, and that's something that if you've been using those pre-shredded cheeses for a long time, you absolutely forget how nice cheese is when it melts and gets all gooey and crispy. So once we started doing this, we're not going back to the shredders. So I'll show you what we do. Um, we cut this up just to fit, take a big block, cut it in um, quarters. quarters. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you don't, you want to do quarters because if you're hanging on to it a lot, it's going to start to warm up. And if it starts to warm up, it gets a little gummy in the shredder. But if you cut it into quarters, you're not manhandling it a lot. So I just put it in there and look what starts to happen. Isn't that amazing? Have you literally ever seen cheese shred that easy or that fast and once it gets down low enough then we just use the little lid that comes with the hopper keep going it's called a pusher thingy it's called a pusher thingy <laughs> absolutely and that is how fast you can grate a block of cheese we think it's absolutely astounding. They can hear you, Mom. Mom just told me to pick it up and shred it. Like the commercials, right? Look at it, how beautiful that is. Now the question becomes, this cheese can get moldy and we don't want to dry it out like the producers of the companies that make the big cheese shredded bags do. So what do we do? We take one of our amazing one cup measures and one of our amazing freezer mates, which will tell you everything about some other time. And basically, I, in the bigger freezer mates, I take a couple of cups and I put it on the bottom because that'll be good for a pizza for two people or so. And then I just cover it with a piece of parchment or wax paper and then I put the next layer in. 
we put this in the freezer and anytime we want some shredded cheese for anything, you pull out a layer or two or whatever. I also do some smaller packages and a smaller freezer made of just one cup. So if you're making a little sauce or something, you've got a smaller item. So this master base and shredder is an amazing thing. There's lots of other attachments that once you have the master base, you can put these different attachments on. Right now we have the spiralizer attachment, and I believe you'll find a demo for that on here. There is the Fusion Master Mincer accessory. You can do your own meats, sausages. It does have an extruder for the sausages. And then what I showed you, the um, grater, or the shredder, sorry, grater grinder set. So that's what we've got right now. Different things come out at different times of the year. You might be able to find a potato ricer around Thanksgiving or all sorts of things like that. Anyway, I really hope you enjoy this. If you want to have another look at it, watch the video or go to our website at debln61.my.tupperware.ca. All the flyers and the sales and everything are right on there. And when we're in this time of sort of virtuality, it's the place to go. Any questions though, call either one of us. We can help you out. And it's been nice seeing you again. Bye. Bye-bye.